Today I have been asked to make three posts and I will show you how easy it is to make it in Blender for Dental. First thing we're going to do is we're going to sort through the models. So this is my working model and this is my antagonist. I'm going to hide the antagonist over here. I'll flip this over. I'm using a space mouse which makes it really easy to manipulate. We're going to put my cursor over here and we're going to start drawing. So this is going to flip out two vertices of which I'm going to click on extrude and we will then extrude them along the top where the post is. So I assume it's going all the way down to here. When I'm done with that, when I'm close to the edge, I'm going to click on fuse and then I'm going to click on uh, create upper surface. All right, I'm going to do this two more times. Now, next thing is we're going to survey them individually. Go to the survey, look down the path of the root. This is very important. In transparent mode, we can actually see where these undercuts are lying. Click on block out. And we're going to do this three times. Next, we're going to go to the margins, select all three of them. We're going to give a miniature 50 micron margin. Then we're going to select all, the, all of these again and click on Auto Space and Zone. Excellent. Next thing is we're going to select these zones because these are the starting uh, objects to make our copings. Click here, create coping layer. Now because we don't need such a big layer going all the way around it, we're going to make this way less. So we're looking at maybe about, uh, th let's make that 0 0.3. I'm going to do the same for the other two, 0 0.3 and this one as well. Then we're going to accept the thicknesses for all three of these. At this stage, we can manipulate the mesh structure. Great, next thing is we're going to hide these safety zones. I don't need to see them at this stage. But what I do want to do is I want to take this mesh structure and extrude it upwards. So with it being selected, tab, I'm going to make sure the magnet tool is off. That's very, very important. And we want to then select a whole number of vertices. So I'm going to brush something like this. Now I want to actually ensure that I, I get all of these vertices like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to extrude them into the Z direction. So I'm going to click on E, Z, and then you'll see the blue axis line coming up. And then we're going to grab them upwards like that. But that's not good enough because I want to uh, see where my antagonist is. So I'm going to look for my antagonist over here. So it's too, too way up. I'm going to go GZ to grab. So GZ. And we're going to then go S to scale. Z on the keyboard. Zero to flatten them out. Then G, Z again to extrude them upwards. You see, so now I've got them flat and I'm, I've got them extruding upwards. Now I've got to decide where I'm going to place this. I'm going to go G to grab and I'm looking at it from the top view. And we may want to uh, manipulate it a bit more. So I'm going to use a T. I'm going to see where my widget is over here. So that's all good. So the transform widgets in the local direction are no good, can, as you can see. But if I put this into the view, then I can manipulate it because according to my view, this is the, the red arrow. So if I go um, R, X, X, we can rotate it up like this, you see. 
it's very easy to do once once you understand how, how it's done okay so this is sort of okay I'm going to go S scale and I'm going to make a little bit less parallel because we don't need it that parallel so this is my basic shape I'm going to go to this one but I'm going to hide this one H to hide it I'm going to do the same over here so this one tab C key I'm going to brush the vertices like this make sure you get all of the vertices it's quite quite important because we're extruding them in the upward direction so E to extrude Z Z Z until you get to the Z okay so now it's extruding a little bit in the wrong direction but that's because we are in the view so if I go back to local and I go G so extrude Z direction I can move it up in the Z direction and then S Z zero to make them zero and then s to make them a bit less parallel over here like that so that's looking really good where's my antagonist tab alt h so it's better to use these buttons over here because then you can hide and unhide the antagonist very very easily if you use the h key it's uh, it can make it a little bit more tricky and more difficult so I want this quite high up um, but this is a little bit high but we're going to deal with that in a minute so again I'm going to hide the antagonist I'm going to look at this the C key and I'm going to with my left mouse button I'm going to brush a whole number of vertices make sure that you get the inside as well Okay, we're going to do the same as well. So E, Z, Z, S, Z, 0 on the keyboard. Seek out your antagonist like that. And then move this up to where you want it to be. Okay, so this is looking good. And S to scale to make it a little bit less parallel. All right, now ideally I want to I want to um, sculpt smooth these because they are uh, they've got a lot of ridges in them as you can see all right next I'm going to select them and smooth hide their segment I'll set my auto smooth a bit down and my strength up a little bit like that Right, we're going to exit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check so here for example we're going to go into edit mode and I'm going to pull this down just a little bit you can see how neat my my structure is my geometry structure this is looking good object mode I'm going to have a look at this one over here this seems to be okay and this one over here seems to be okay as well good lastly what we want to do is we want to generate these all right so I'm going to take all three of these and we're going to click on generate upper copings and like magic we have them done let's I'm going to inspect and see what they look like. 